Hi, um, my name is Bernie McLeod. I'm the secretary of the Inverness Access Panel. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Access Panel do, is we're all made up of volunteers, 90% uh, of whom have some sort of disability, whether it be a physical disability, a visual, hidden disability. Uh, we meet on a regular basis. Uh, we work alongside individuals and the Highland Council to ensure that places are accessible for people. Um, to, to visit, to use. So we do as much work as we can along with, as I say, individuals in the council. Uh, we were invited along initially to the initial meeting with David Haas and Anna, and we were pleasantly surprised to see that it was such a, a comprehensive website, not just another kind of access guide, and that it not only went for um, covered people with physical disabilities, which a lot of things do, it also covered every every disability, hidden disabilities, because it takes account of absolutely everything, whether it be lighting, flooring, you know, it, it really is a very comprehensive guide, so we were very pleased to come on board and, and be part of it. Um, the, the training was um, initially given by Disabled Go, they came up and uh, we'd got together with uh, some people who were interested in helping and uh, the training was very good, it was very comprehensive, and I think it even reiterated even more to us what a fantastic guide this was, because it took account of absolutely everything. Um, and unfortunately, a lot, some people couldn't make it on the day, so I did further training with uh, some other people, so I enjoyed that as well, because it, was, it gave me even more insight into it all. So our, our kind of mini project in it all was the Eastgate Centre, um, and we all went out, we did it over a couple of weeks and I think the people who did it, some of them had their own disabilities and it was good for them because when you have a disability I suppose sometimes you only focus on your own disability but it was also making people focus on other disabilities and other problems that people can have while accessing somewhere. So um, we, all, we all got a lot from it uh, which was really good. Um, and the good thing about the, what we also thought about Disabled Go was it's a continuous thing, um, that it's not just going to be done and uh, forgotten about, it's going to be constantly updated. And because of um, us being in the access panel, we're hoping that you know, we will still have the input and we'll hopefully have, know where problems have arisen over the year and uh, maybe give recommendations for other places to be to be used. Because Inverness is such a massive catchment area that you know there's so many people come from all over the <coughs> Highlands to access health facilities, to access um, for social entertainment. And with it being a tourist attraction, I think this site is really good in that it, it could hopefully help a lot of people because there's 11 million people all together in the UK that have got some sort of disability and a quarter of them feel so disadvantaged because they just don't do things because they won't know until they get there. They need to be confident in, you know, that they can have a disabled toilet, that, you know, you know if there's some sort of mental health problems or autism, it's not going to be sparked off by something that's actually in the venue. So this, this site gives very much... Every info, all the information needed and lets the person decide themselves whether they think it's accessible. Because there's no standard to a disability, you know, there's no standard disability, so it gives people the opportunity for them to decide whether they think it's um, suitable for them to use or not. Um, so that that's probably all we'd like to say and we've just very much enjoyed meeting Anna and Dean and they've been great to work with and hopefully the word will spread and how good a site this is for everyone to use.